How to create a simple website using NicePage. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a simple website using NicePage. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of building a professional looking website with ease. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using NicePage, the first step is to create an account. You'll find the link down below in description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, navigate to the top right corner and locate the register button. Click on it and you'll be redirected to another page where you can create your new account. On the registration page, you'll find various options for signing up. You can choose to sign up with your email, or alternatively, you can use your Google or Facebook account for a quick registration process. Select the option that suits your preferences and follow the prompts accordingly. After successfully signing up, you'll be directed to another page where you'll need to choose between different versions of NicePage. Here you have several options to proceed. If you prefer to work offline, you can download the NicePage desktop app for both Windows and Mac operating systems. Click on the download button next to the respective version based on your computer's OS and then install the application on your system. However, if you don't want to download the desktop app, NicePage also offers an online builder option. To access the online builder, simply click on the Run Online Builder button. It may take a moment to load, but eventually you'll be directed to your NicePage account within the Online Builder interface. From there, you can start creating your designs and building websites using the available tools and features provided by NicePage. Now, let's see how to create a simple website using NicePage. Once you're logged in to your NicePage account, creating a simple website is a straightforward process. To begin, Go to the top left side of the dashboard and locate the plus new site button. If you've already created sites in NicePage previously, you'll see them displayed in card view format under My Sites section. Clicking on the plus new site button will take you to the NicePage template library. Here you have two options to create a new site, starting from scratch or using a template and customizing it. If you choose to start a website from scratch, simply click on Start with Blank Page. This will redirect you to the NicePage Website Builder, where you can begin building your website from the ground up, adding elements and designing the layout as per your preferences. Alternatively, if you prefer to use a template as a starting point, you can browse through the available templates in the library. To search for a specific template, you can utilize the search bar or explore different categories such as architecture and building, art and design, sale, education, and more. Select the template that aligns with your desired website style or theme. Once you've chosen a template, you can customize it further to suit your specific needs. In this tutorial, we will choose a template from the Nice Page Library and customize it according to our preferences. Let's select this template as it appears more visually appealing after clicking on the template, it will take a moment to load the necessary resources and then redirect you to the NicePage website builder. The NicePage user interface consists of several components that facilitate the website customization process. These components are Top Bar, Quick Access, Page Navigator, Page Editor, and Property Panel. At the top of the interface, you'll find the Top Bar. This section includes links to the dashboard, current page, and a Find Everything search button on the left side. In the center, you'll find options for the editor and responsive modes. On the right side of the top bar, you'll see various service icons such as Save, Preview, Publish and Export, Settings and Profile. Located on the left side of the editor, you'll find the Quick Access menu. This menu provides quick access to various options including the plus button, used to add blocks and elements, pages, blog posts, modal pop-ups, site colors and fonts, templates, media settings, and help. Next to the quick access menu, you'll find the page navigator. 
This tool simplifies the selection and management of blocks within your website. Additionally, it displays the header and footer sections that remain consistent across all pages of your website. The central area of the interface is the page editor. Here you can customize the individual pages of your website. This is where you can add and arrange blocks, edit text, modify images, and adjust the layout to create a visually appealing and functional website. On the right hand side of the editor, you'll find the property panel. This panel opens when you click on any block or element in the page editor. It provides you with customization options specific to the selected block or element, allowing you to adjust properties such as size, spacing, colors, and more. When customizing your website, the first and crucial step is to make your home page unique, since it's the initial page that visitors see when they land on your site. In our case, since we've chosen a template, we will focus on customizing the home page to do this. Locate the Pages option in the Quick Access menu and click on it. This action will display the different pages of your website. Find and select the Home page to begin customizing it. By clicking on the Home page, it will open in the Page Navigator. Within the Page Navigator, you'll see the blocks that comprise the Home page. This navigation tool allows you to efficiently move blocks and change their order on the web page. To perform operations on a block, click on the three dots icon, which will open a list of available actions. If you wish to remove a block, simply hover over it and click on the trash icon. On the other hand, if you want to add a new block, click on the plus new block button located at the bottom of the page. The design editor located in the central area of the interface provides a range of options for adding, moving, aligning and editing blocks, containers and elements of your website. For instance, let's say you want to modify the header on the first block of your home page, which represents your website's name. By clicking on the header element, you can easily replace it with your own website name. When you click on the header, two important aspects come into play. Firstly, a top bar will appear for the heading, offering options to change the heading type, make it bold, adjust its size, change its color, and more. Secondly, if you wish to further customize the header, you can navigate to the property panel located on the right side of the editor, which provides additional customization options. To change the background image, simply hover over the existing background image that you want to modify. Upon doing so, you'll notice the appearance of an option labeled Change Image. Clicking on this option will redirect you to another page where you can upload an image from your computer to replace the existing background image. When editing properties, select any element within the editor and a corresponding property panel will open on the right side of the interface. In this property panel, you can modify various supported properties relating to the selected element, container or block. At the top of the property panel, you'll find tabs that will allow you to switch between different property categories, including the element, container and block properties. Theme settings play a cru crucial role in modern websites and themes, as they allow for the customization of colors, fonts and typography across the entire website. To access and modify the theme settings of your website, click on the Site Colors and Fonts. Within the theme settings, you have the ability to customize various aspects such as colors, fonts, headings and text. Let's start with colors. In most cases, websites utilize a number of colors, typically no more than five. To make the color customization process easier, you can utilize color presets that apply the selected colors to all website elements consistently. Moving on to fonts, you can also take advantage of the font scheme feature. The font scheme includes popular font, and provides predefined combinations that you can use. This simplifies the process of selecting complementary fonts for your website. Additionally, you have the flexibility to further customize the font schemes to align with your preferences and branding. In addition to colors and fonts, you can stylize text elements throughout your website, including headings, text, lists, buttons, and more. By customizing these elements, you can ensure a cohesive and visually appealing design across your web pages. You can customize not only the home page, but also the other pages of your website. Consistency in design and branding throughout your website enhances the user experience and creates a professional and polished look. 
once you've made the necessary customizations, it's important to preview the changes before making them live. To do this, simply click on the Preview button located on the top bar of the interface. This allows you to see how your website will look to visitors. If you're satisfied with the preview and everything appears as intended, it's time to publish your website for the world to see. To initiate the publishing process, click on the Publish and Export button. Upon clicking this button, a dialog box will appear with various options. Select the Website option from the available choices. This ensures that your entire website will be published. To proceed with the publishing process, click the Publish Website button within the dialog box. This action will make your whole website live and accessible to visitors on the internet. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using NicePage. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you found this video helpful and that you now have the confidence to build your own stunning website. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.